Hey girls and guys, welcome back. Windows Fundamentals Part 2, Task 1, Introduction. Start your machine, plus start your attack box if you're using a attack box. Click here, hit enter. At the bottom you'll see here uh, there's a tab called WinFun. If you click on that, it will load your windows. There you go. The other tab, THM, is your attack box. For those of you who want to RDP in, here at the top, in the top left corner, click the dots, go to Internet, Remina, add new connection profile, type in the machine IP as you see on the left in the screenshot, the user is administrator, Password let me in, one, two, three, exclamation mark. Scroll down, change the color depth. Hit connect, accept the certificate. And you are logged into your Windows terminal, just like the WinFun tab. Task two, system configuration. This utility is for advanced troubleshooting and to help diagnose startup issues. In your Windows terminal, click the start button bottom left and just start typing msconfig. You need administrator rights to open this utility. The utility has five tabs across the top. Let me exit out, redo it, start MS config, click on apps, system config, hit enter. There's your five tabs across the top general, boot, services, startup, and tools. In the general tab, we can select what devices and services for Windows to load upon boot. The boot tab. We can define various boot options for the operating system within the boot tab. The services tab. This lists all services configured for the system regardless of their state. This is a special type of application that runs in the background. The startup tab, you won't see anything interesting in the attached virtual machine. There's a list of various utilities in the tools tab that we can run to configure the operating system further. Task 3, changing user account settings. The user account settings can be changed or even turned off entirely, but it's not recommended. Click the start button, start typing user account, and then open up the user account control. You can see you have the same as the screenshot on the left. Task 4, computer management. Click the start button, type in COMP, MG, MT and open up computer management. There's three primary sections, system tools, storage and services and applications. Task scheduler. 
create and manage common tasks that our computer will carry out automatically at times we specify, similar to cron and cron tabs in a Mac. If I click on task scheduler, there's three columns and in the far right column you can see create task. Next is event viewer. View events that have occurred on your computer. These records are an order trail of activity on the computer system. Once again you have three split screens, tree listing on the left, overview and summary in the middle and the actions plan on the right. There's five types of events that can be logged. In the screenshot below is a table providing a brief description for each of the five types of events. Standard logs are visible under Windows logs. Below is a table example providing a brief description for each. Shared folders. See a complete list of shares and folders shared that others can connect to. Under Sessions, you can see a list of users who are currently connected to the shares. Local users and groups. This comes from Windows Fundamentals 1, which is the LSU, lsrmgr.msc. Performance, called Performance Monitor. View performance data in real time or from log files, useful for for troubleshooting issues on your computer. If I click on performance, a drop down tab, and then performance monitor, device manager, view and configure hardware, disabling any hardware attached. Storage. Under storage is Windows Server Backup and Disk Management. We'll only look at disk management in this room. Since it's a virtual machine, Windows Server Operating System, there are utilities available that you won't typically see in Windows 10. Services and Applications. Recall from a previous task, a service is a special type of application that runs in the background. You can do more than just enable and disable a service. Windows Management Instrumentation, WMI. PowerShell supersedes this tool. And WMIC is deprecated in Windows 10. The questions. I'll show you how to get to the answers. Click on Task Scheduler, drop down Task Scheduler, and there you see the bottom one. There's the answer to the second question. Click on Shares, and the bottom one again is your answer. Task 5, System Information. Click Start, Type MS Info 32, open up system information. The information in system summary is divided into three sections hardware resources, components, and software environment. Hardware resources is not for the average computer user. If you want to learn more, you can click on the link for the Microsoft page. Under Components, you can see specific information about the hardware devices installed on your computer. Some sections don't show any information. Some sections do. The 
software environment. See info about software baked into the operating system and software you installed. Environment variables store data that is used by the operating system and other programs. Click on environment variables to see the assigned values for the virtual machine. There's a search bar at the bottom. Select components and search for IP address. As you can see in the screenshot on the left. Task 6, resource monitor. Click start, type R E S M O N and then there is your resource monitor. This utility is geared primarily to advanced users who need to perform advanced troubleshooting on computer systems. There's four sections CPU, disk, network and memory. Task 7, Command Prompt, click Start, type CMD, open Command Prompt. I'm going to type in some commands as per the example on the left. You can follow along, type host name, who am I, and you can see it's equivalent to the screenshots on the left. If I type IP config, this command will show the network address settings for the computer. A command to retrieve the help menu for a command is forward slash question mark. So if I type IP config and then forward slash question mark, that's the help menu for IP config. CLS that clears the command prompt screen. So if I type CLS, you can see everything disappears. Netstat, this command will display protocol statistics. If I type net, this command is primarily used to manage network resources. If I type net and the forward slash question mark I do not get the help com a help menu you must type net help in order to see the help menu if you wish to see the help information for the net user the command is net help user Task 8, Registry Editor. If I click Start and type REG Edit, 
we'll open up the registry editor this contains info about profiles for each user apps installed what hardware exists a warning registry is for advanced computer users making changes to the registry can affect normal computer operations Task 9. Throughout the room, commands and shortcuts were shared for utilities. This means you don't have to launch msconfig to run these utilities. You can also run some of these utilities directly from the start menu. If I click on the drop down for Windows administrative tools here you can see a whole long list of all the different tools we've already discussed and gone through in the room so there's more than one way to get to the particular utility in Windows and if you click on Windows system you'll see that there's further access to control panel and task manager don't forget to terminate your machine and thanks a lot for watching